All right, friends, it's T and I'm back with another video. It's on Jason Bloha again, the, our favorite influencer, YouTube, YouTube influencer, gym slave lifting, gym slave recruiter. Yes, <laughs> he's recruiting more lifting slaves, bro, through his videos and his rants and whatever else the fuck he's doing out there. But anyways, we're going to review this video today. Jason Bloha says, the most impressive person I knew trained three times a week when I was a noob. Okay, the most impressive. So people on steroids train three times a week, they get gains. People who work out in the gym train three times, natural people get zero. <laughs> Wonder why that is. You want to know what that is? Cosmetic. All right, all right. Let's see what he says. Hey, everybody. It's Jason Law here. I thought I would sit down and do another video for you guys and gals. I bet you did. My water first. Get my beautiful radio voice going, and let's talk about this. You know, this topic comes up and I, we see everyone, oh, you got to train five days a week, six days a week. But the Yeah, I hear that bullshit too, man. That's all just garbage. What are you training for? Getting better at lifting a weight? Or are you training to build your body big and strong, your natural strength? I mean, there's all kinds of things that people want to do. But the problem with n neurons and this like this force production and the building of the ma muscle and a whole bunch of stuff. There's mass, there's myofibular, there's like fucking... This, that, oh man, it just it never ends, Jesus. Reality is, some of the most impressive physiques and strongest people I have ever met in my life only train three days a week. I've no impressive physiques, three days a week. Three days is too much. Three days is too much. You, you're adapted. You're adapted to these exercises and weights. There's no more adaptations. So how did he get an impressive physique, Blaha? Blah is so artificial, man. He just loves his drug people and shit. And look at him. He looks like dog caca. And plenty of champions who only train four. Talk for yourself. I do four. Talk for yourself, Blaha. Look at you. Look at you. Take a good look in the mirror, man. Have you seen yourself lately, dude? Prescribe four to my clients. And realistically, I see tons of guys who train five or six. Yeah, 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 whatever. Listen, stop talking about these guys. Talk about you. I talk about myself. You want to know what I see when I look in the fucking mirror, bro, what I see of myself? I see a beast at 56, practically 57, okay, this year. Look at you. What do you see in the mirror at, uh, what, you just turned 47? or whatever 46 47 what do you see in the mirror you want to see what i you want to know what we see when we see you on youtube we see a bald old hunchback man that's what we see we see a, a, a melted candle like everybody says that's a great description a melted candle bro but me people are jealous of me at the gym when they see me bro they treat me like some 30 year old kid or something 30 year old guy or something they think i'm young I'm not young. I'm an old man. I don't like to be treated like I'm 30. I'm 56 years old, okay? I'm a senior citizen. I don't want to be treated young. But I like looking young, though. <laughs> you understand me? But I want respect. You understand? I want respect. Days a week who are tiny and weak, and they're not even ripped on top of that. So, you know, you got to ask this question. What are people really doing with this? How hard are they training and I get it when you're I have yet to see you pose in a mirror. Can you do some pose shots for us, Blaha? Prove to us that you have a physique. The only way we'll ever know what you look like if you do a few poses. You, they don't have to be elaborate poses. They don't have to be special off the wall. You don't have to do no Arnold poses. Just do the regular poses. Do a back pose, maybe, whatever. Show your back, okay, double by. Maybe front double by, maybe, you know, like whatever some chest shit whatever i don't know dude just do something of something okay posing and we'll know what your physique really truly looks like if you pose that's the only way to tell really the truth is and hey my camera is always low if i, I gotta bring my thing to stick it up higher so people can see me level ways my whole body because it's hard to see because from the bottom up it looks small up bottom down whatever bigger whatever I need to bring a thing, a suction cup thing to put it up a little bit higher in the bar next time when I film myself so I can truly show what I actually really have, okay? Not that people can't see it already. Man, bro, my body is not a melted candle. 
I look like a 30 year old guy walking around. Okay, man. And that's how people, they look at me. They perceive me that way. But I am not 30. Okay. I am 56. You're talking about a mystery. I have better, I have a better body than teenagers in the gym than 20 year olds and teenagers and shit my body is better than theirs and you can see them passing by me they're exercising you can you can literally you can line me up with them as they're passing by and you can see you can you can whatever you can compare me with them when they're walking in my camera and you could see they don't have the physique I do. And I don't even lift, bro. I'm not even a lifter. And you lift, and you got the worst physique I've ever seen in my entire life. Even for a power lifter. I've seen power lifters with better physiques. Give me a break, bro. Olympia competitor. But keep in mind, <laughs> Olympia competitors are what? It's usually their full-time job. They make... <laughs> they make significant sums of money. Their lifestyle is perfect. Who cares about them? Talk about yourself. What do you got to show and display, bro? Their stress management is perfect. Sleep is perfect. Their magical supplements are ridiculously high through the roof. Yes, their magical drugs are super high through the roof. Yes, they adapted to them, and so they have to keep taking more. Okay, they're very toxic as you keep taking more and more of them. Just like alcohol, it stops working. You keep drinking more and more, and then you die of cirrhosis and everything else because you can't stop drinking it because your body has adapted to it. All you deranged people out there that think that steroids build a muscle or do anything... You have to be fucking mentally retarded, okay, to believe that fucking shit. Steroids stop working because they adapt just like everything else, just like your muscles. They adapt the moment you come in, repeat a butt effect hits, boom, and it stops working. It rapidly adapts by what? Repairing and walling, it protects. It's the protective effect. It protects. It protects from these hormones going to the androgen receptors and a whole bunch of things, try, or this, the whole thing of just you and it, it working and everything. So you gotta inject more and more and more and more. Your body's trying to protect itself, so it's shutting down things to protect itself from these drugs. But what do you do? Keep injecting more toxins, more poison. And then you wonder, why are we dying? You're dying because the shit is toxic. Plants are toxic, dude. They're fucking poisonous. <laughs> And they're usually genetic freaks in many ways. Oh, yeah, they're, ge oh, they took the drugs, but oh, they're genetic freaks. No, they're ectomorphs. That's what they are. They're ectomorphs and they took some drugs. Okay. But when we are talking about people that the average person think look insane, I mean, you, can, you guys can go look at Martin, Martin Birkin back in the day. Yeah, I've seen women with makeup, makeup on their face. They, they, they do all this makeup. They look insanely pretty and all that. But when that makeup comes off, guess what? Oh, Helga starts to show her face, dude. He's only training three days a week. Um, and I'll discuss in a minute the routine of the guy that I knew when I was coming up. Who uh, I trained at the same goals with him for about a year, maybe two years. When I was... God, man, Blaha is like the most idiotic coach i've ever seen in the entire world bro this guy is so mm, man this is i uh, just watching listening to this guy i want to do something <laughs> jump out of the screen bro early on in the game and the guy had at the time he had the most impressive physique i had ever seen outside of like a magazine or you know anything like that at the time and even by today's standards he looked just as phenomenal as any of these top influencers, but he was like 40 years old. I'm 56 years old. What about 40? Training three days a week, less than an hour. Yeah. And he trained like that for years. I don't train at all. I just started coming in now conditioning myself. I'm not really exactly coming in every day. I had to take some days off during the weekend and shit. I couldn't go in because my shoulders were hurting so bad. Couldn't go back in there because at the same time I'm lifting heavy, but I'm pretty much adapted now because it feels really stale. It did my back. There's nothing going on there. And there's no pump because I'm on carnivore diet. He's like, I've been training this way for like 10, 15 years or whatever it was. And yeah, he wasn't natty, but he wasn't using as much as you would think. Uh, so, I mean, in another, another example, someone I knew, I watched a guy, a Polish guy, when I was doing uh, meets in the UK. This meet I did not compete in, I was judging that day. So I was judging a meet, and one of the guys there who I knew was crazy strong. I'm talking like, with knee wraps, like a 400 kilo squat. 
day. That's what is his obsession with people lifting heavy shit? Where is he going with all this lifting heavy? What has he done with it? Blah, blah, blah. What have you done with all these heavy lifts? What have you done with them? Like, what are you doing? Why do you need to lift all this heavy weight? Like, what are you going to do with it? Like, seriously, you don't leave your house. You don't go anywhere. Why? Because you're a hermit. Because you look terrible. You have no physique. If you go out in the street, the, the women run away from you. You even scare dogs away. I heard cats run away. Man, I hear little children scream when they see you. They go, Mom, it's the hunchback. Ha, ah, ah. ha. They scream and they run. You repel the mosquitoes even, man, I heard. Yeah, you don't even need repellent. The mosquitoes are repelled off of you. They run away from you. Just the sight of you scares the shit out of them, dude. What, like 880 pounds? I think he was in the 275 class. So we do a stacked. Um, Polish. Oh, he was so stacked. 285. Da, 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 da. This guy is so obsessed with people that are better than him. Why don't you try to get yourself better? Make yourself better. Talk about you. Show you. Forget about all these other people, man. Show you. You get better. You, 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 you. And he was a spotter and loader, and I was chatting with him. I'm like, so what, what, like, what is your training in this? I'm like, <laughs> stuff look like and he's like he's like just polish I do very simple um he's like I have to polish guy yeah. it's really like it's really simple okay okay blah <laughs> I have I have squat day I do squat squat accessories uh I have bench press day every week bench press bench press accessories I have deadlift day every week with uh accessories do linear periodization, drink lots of milk, take deep ball, everything good. Okay, three days a week eating linear periodization with a squat bench devil of day with some accessories. All right. Keeping in mind, we're talking about a guy who would squat over 800 pounds and benched over 500. Oh, you know the rock. Who squat 800, bench 500, die. Wah, wah. He took drugs to fucking squat 800 and bench five, 500, squat 800, whatever. Who gives a shit, man? Bro, bitch. That's what he did. I know a lady, it was an emergency to lift a, a 6,000 pound car off a kid, her kid, and guess what? Blah, huh? It's the strongest lady I ever did see. She lifted a 6,000 pound car. You know how she did it? Adrenaline shot. Adrenaline got her to lift that car. Is she strong, dude? Is she strong because she got an influx of adrenaline binded with the androgen receptor giving her force production to lift that 6,000 pound car? Does that mean that she's the strongest person on the planet? So what about the guy with the impressive physique? This what guy, about what about he was, I think he was around 210. What about him? I never saw him over about 10% body fat. The guy kept abs year round, 365 days a year. He always trained in a tank top with shorts at the gym. Yeah, if you took drugs too, that, that they're meant to do that, that would do that, exude that effect, and you would do them too, but you suck. But we catch him coming in and training, and you kind of get an idea of what his routine was, but he trained hard. Dude trained hard. He didn't train hard. He took drugs, okay? You're lying. You're full of shit. You're lying. But I mean, we'd watch him train and it's like he would do about 10 sets and go home. He was like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday guy. All right? Blah is making this shit up. So it was like a push-pull legs. So his leg day, his, his main leg day, he would come in and he would do pause squats, do like three sets, but he would do like 405 for sets of eight pause and they would be pretty much all out sets, right? Wow. Maybe the third set he would do some rest pause and stuff and try to get a little bit more, but he could do eight straight up clean reps with two count pauses all the way at the bottom, like beautiful Olympic style squats of 405. Beautiful Olympic style squats, 405, 405. Why, why doesn't he do like a thousand pounds, dude? I knew a guy that could do a 1,500 pound squat and he could bench press 1,200. 
Okay, Blaha? How's that? That impress you, you mother fucking... He would do that, and then he would do maybe some, some heavy, like, press, a moron. or some lunges, and then maybe some leg extensions. All right? Whatever. And he'd call, he'd go home. It would be like three... Yeah, yeah. He'd do full stacks, and then he'd go home. He'll come in, he'll do 10 sets, and then he'll go home. Exercises. You do like three sets, three exercises, something like 8 to 12 reps. All of them pretty much to right at failure. Again, he would rest, pause stuff. Uh, he would do some stuff and ask for a spotter so he could go to failure. Right? Could he get spotters for stuff all the time? Because uh, he would fail on those squats. He'd fail on the leg press. He trained that way. Right? His press day, the dude would come in an incline bench. Sometimes he'd go really heavy. I saw him do a couple reps of 315 on a 45 degree incline, All right? But a lot of days he'd drop down to like 275 and he'd crank out like eight reps and then have a spotter helping with a, you know, maybe a rest posse racket, try to get one more. He would do like pullovers or some gut table flies and then I think he's going gaga over these people. What's the matter with this guy? Okay, he's fantasizing man. This like is three sets of some type of tricep exercise. Whatever. Come in and walk on the treadmill. So he'd come in and just walk, do do less cardio. He'd walk, he'd go on a treadmill and he'd do this into that. It would make it would make no difference. He took a drug, it's cosmetic, to create something cosmetic fake. It didn't matter what the fuck he did in the gym. It, it, it would have it would have created it it would have happened regardless could have done anything in there and it would create whatever it, it's meant to create that's it pull or like this pull type day artificially which is his bad day to do would come and do some stiff leg deadlifts he would i do think people don't even understand what that means that word artificial they all think it's real these people are real Ooh, they look big. They have muscles and everything. Look at that low body fat on them. Hoo hoo. But when you stop taking it, why does it all go away? Why does all the fakeness go away? Because it's artificial. It's fake. It's induced artificially. You don't make those hormones. You don't make those toxins. You don't make any of those things. So whatever it's doing, it's doing it artificially. It isn't based on your hormones. It isn't based on your production, your body producing those whatever they are, those artificial hormones, whatever they're injecting in you, you don't produce those. You don't produce D-ball, Sustanon, Trend. You don't make any of those things in your body. Your body makes what it makes. Get it? Yeah, man. It makes what it makes. So you injecting these things from outside, it's obviously, it's artificial, it's cosmetic. It's not based on real. It's not based on natural. Natural means you, all, your system, your whole system. It's naturally the way it works naturally in the natural world. But when you do something artificial, artificially inducing something, it's artificial. It can't last. It can't last. The reason why it doesn't last and it will not last and it does not work is because your body does not produce those artificial hormones and things that you're injecting with the toxins that come along with it the poisons that will kill you it's not the molecules that'll kill you it's the it's the poison the toxicity that makes it so high is what's going to kill you and the adaptation process everything rapidly adapts everything works in the beginning but then it rapidly adapts to do what to protect itself your body's protecting itself why is it protecting why does your body why does the steroid stop working you're injecting it now at the same dosages but it's not working anymore because your body is doing what it's protecting itself from what from these hormones because they're artificial they're artificial your body doesn't want that and you are forcing it you're forcing the body now injecting it and doing all these weird things blowing it up like a balloon this is a bad thing you're doing to your body abusing it it's abuse of the body like alcohol you keep drinking you can't stop you're an alcoholic come on man you like weighted pull-ups uh, again talking like like again eight nine reps with 90 pounds of plates you do straight up pull-ups 
and then he'd do curls. You like don't know curls or something afterwards. He would always change the smaller movements up though. Like you never knew what he'd do: incline curls, maybe an alternating dumbbell curl, preacher curls, whatever. He, but he knew one type of curl, three sets to failure. After doing those, pretty much to failure. So Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, you people listening, to failure is not gonna work. Okay, to failure is not gonna work. You don't need to go to failure. What you need to do is move incrementally higher, lift heavier and heavier, go a little bit higher all the time, and finish heavy. Do not go under less and less and finish light. Finish heavy. A lot of people make this mistake in the gym. They lift weights and they want to go to failure, but if you go to failure, you'll fatigue yourself, so you won't have enough power or force production to lift heavier. The whole goal is to keep moving the weight higher, going heavier. That's the whole point. Finishing heavier if you can. That's the adaptation process. Your muscles have to adapt to the higher weight. It isn't going to adapt to doing something less. It's already adapted to it. So it's not going to work. Yeah, that's the reason why none of these, these training things that these people do, it's all shit. They don't work because they're stupid. They don't understand how these things how the adaptation process works. You gotta be a master at understanding what an adaptation is, how to get into them, out of them, this, that, and all this kind of stuff, okay? It's not gonna work for you, Blaha. About nine sets, and he'd go home. This is how this guy trained. He did nine sets, nine sets, and then he went home. I thought it would happen to 10. Well, that's just how the people trained, and so what? He's on drugs. He looked better than I do right now. Of course he looked better than you. He was young and he, he took good drugs. He got good drugs. He took good stuff. Uh, and he trained better than you. You don't train properly anyways. And even though he didn't need to train, he got good drugs. That's all. He had good steroids. That's about it. Okay? You have some kind of shitty loser steroids and your body is like mush puppet. It's terrible. I'm just going to call it. Like, maybe if I was leaner and had the, the loose skin tighter, maybe he could compete. Man, I don't even know what you are. You an ectomorph? Who the fuck knows what you are, dude? Um, but just in terms of physique, he had a great physique. And that's the other thing I would say. People say, well, was he strong? You can't compete. Larry Wheels can compete in bodybuilding. He's got a bodybuilding figure because he's an ectomorph. That's what it does. And he's a power lifter. But it gives him this look, a bodybuilding look, because he's an ectomorph. Well, dude, I don't know. You tell me. How many of you guys can do full Olympic squats with a two-count pause at the bottom, right? With no wraps, like. And why do I have to do that? Why? Why should I? Why should I even do that? Can anybody see me doing that in the street? Will anybody ever see me doing that? No, absolutely not. They only see what I look like. They don't give a shit about lifts. They don't care. And neither do you. And neither does anybody else watching this fucking shit. When they're in the street, they only care about what people look like. They're look, they're watching around. When they come online, they're all like a bunch of dickheads. Screaming and yelling and gotta lift the heavy way and do this or you're weak and stuff. They just talk a bunch of shit. But when it comes down to reality, they all want to look like the best guy, the big strong guy around the chicks at the bar. Because nobody respects a small strong guy. You get it? Dude, nobody respects a small, strong guy. They only respect a big, strong guy in public. That's how it works. Straight up wrong. Two second pause at the bottom in a full. You have to be blind not to not to notice that. Walk for eight reps or four or five. Clean reps. Whatever. How many of you repping 315 on the incline bench? Who gives a shit, man? On the incline bench, repping 315? Here's a question. I repped 315 on the incline bench before, okay, when I was younger. And I can still probably do it now. I don't know. I haven't really, I haven't gotten there. I'm busy with conditioning myself. But yeah, if I get there, I could do it again. I've done it before. Here's a question. But why do you have to do 315? Why, why is it a necessity to do 315 on the incline bench. Why is that, Blaha? Why do you need a 315 bench press on the incline or whatever the fuck? Why do you need that? For what purpose? Can anybody see you doing that in the street? Are you going to carry like 
your phone and show it to people. Go, look, man, you're going to flash it in public at the bar. I could do 315. And they'll go, those are fake weights. They'll even shun you and say it's fake weights. Look what happened to that dude. These guys that come online. They actually did the lift and then they say it's fake weights. So there you go. Nobody gives a shit, man. They don't trust anybody. They're either on drugs, lifting a heavy weight, or they're doing something and they're lying about it. You understand me? They're lying. They're making up stuff, whatever. They're trying to make you psychologically think they're super strong, something. They bench press some heavy weight, something. Or they got this size, this, that, whatever. Meanwhile, it's artificial. They're doing it fakely. They're just faking you out because they're jealous that everybody else is taking a drug. So they took it to come along with the Joneses. Get it? There's a lot of people like that out there. You don't know what they're doing. You can't prove if if what they're doing this real da fake prove it prove it how many of you can rep out two plates on a weighted pull up an overhand grip pull up a lot of people can who practice at it i'm not practicing to do those are you blah i mean i don't see you practicing that much anymore you're the so-called heavy lifts and everything you're trying to do physique but if you're doing physique you're mixing up too much of these these movements that you're doing these exercises they don't work for that you need a cable machine to condition yourself to look better if you want a really nice looking physique you need a cable machine the cable machine will give you a thermogenic effect it also has great tension there's great there's greater tension on the muscle fiber and you can eke out some adaptations on the eccentric movement with the cable machine bro i'm telling you it definitely is going to tell it's going to take you further and further and harder than the last time invest in a cable go to the hardware store invest 20 bucks buy a cable in a pulley and put it there hook it up to your 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 garage where you live in and do your exercise okay and use the cables and i guarantee you're gonna look amazing okay yeah take my advice it really works it works trust me that's how the dude trained so and he was strong and he was jacked he looked impressive as hell he was trained he was jacked he was impressive as hell lifting heavy weight because he took drugs to lift it like you, you take drugs to lift your weights. You know, he had said he had been training like 20 years, you know, nonstop. But the guy trained like that. And we had, you know, we would ask him, like, how long have you trained this way? He's like, dude, I've been training in this place since like the 90s. You know? He's been training that way since the 90s on drugs and he's still alive on drugs, drugs. So then why does he need the drugs? Why doesn't he just train like a, like a normal, natural person? Why can't he do it? Because he can't do it. He can't do it. But it worked for him. So the point that I'm making here, people need to step back and ask, based upon your goals, how much time do you really need to be spending in the weight room to reach your goals? Just something to think about. It depends on what you're doing. I don't know. If you're doing a 5x5, five five, then do a 5x5. Five if you're doing a 5x10, then do a 5x10. If you're doing conditioning, then do conditioning. If you're trying to get ripped, then get ripped. Do whatever you want, man. But you can't do all of them at the same time. It's really, really, really hard. All right, guys. Well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been... I'm adapted. I'm not damaging. I got a little bit in the beginning because I had done, done these movements in quite a while. So when I did them got an adaptation there it's not what i was looking for i'm looking to condition myself i am lifting heavy but there's not a necessity for me to lift heavy you understand me there's really no point i might as well just do really like a lot of light cable high repetition work that's about it to you get more condition that way it's a great thermogenic effect to rid the self the body of all this you know some excessive triglyceride <laughs> informative and i'll talk to you guys again it really is just cosmetic man and no it was not informative it's again it's just a lot of baloney stuff bro. man you just talk a lot of crap uh, blah i'm telling you I, I don't know whatever see you in the next one man touch think about that like subscribe comment down below helps with the algorithm if you like the video like it if you don't i don't know i can't make you happy but whatever if you want to subscribe subscribe it really helps with the algorithm i'll see you in the next one ciao friends